Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be going over the Cisco Modeling Labs 2 or CML2. So this is an, the new version of the viral program which came out around 2015. I personally hated viral, like everything about it was just hard to deal with. I only got it, used it for the images, but with CML2 they improved everything about it. For one, it's very easy to set up. It took me maybe 10 minutes to set it up in VMware Workstation, but you can also use VMware Player also for free. But it's $199 for one year, which is not terrible in my opinion versus the cost of rack rental or equipment, but it's still something to consider versus GNS3, which is free. But with this, you get the official images. As you can see on the product page, it comes with quite a few images on its own, plus comes with uh, built-in Linux distros to use for to practice automation. also has an API that you can connect to to automate the lab environment, plus the switches inside the lab, which is cool. But here's the, uh, the store page. And the documentation, very good, easy to follow, follow to set up. Like I said, very fast install, very easy. The only bad thing is the smart licensing, which once a week has to connect to the internet, which is usually not that big of a deal for most people, but it's something to consider. Also, if you install this and you register it, make sure if you don't use it to deregister, the license because if not you have to open a support ticket and that's the pain all right so once you get the server up and running and the instance started in your vmware uh, workstation or player then you can log in via a web interface which once again big improvement over gns3 because you don't have to download anything if you use a separate computer so i've hosted this on my uh, ESXi host server and when it starts on there I can get on my laptop, desktop, whatever go to the web interface and it works. Much simpler plus you can add users so each person can have a separate account if you have multiple people using it. It's very easy to use. So this is the dashboard as you can see we have the status of the CPU usage, memory, disk, all that stuff you can import labs if you have an existing lab through viral or other CML2 lab or you can add a lab or you can go and see all of the different settings and stuff plus the cool thing about CML2 is the API as you can see here there it gives you an easy to easy to use list of all the stuff you can do with it so if you you can create labs manage labs everything through an API instead of the uh, interface so let's create a lab so if we want to add a lab we just hit add lab comes up with a name we can change it if we want to but we'll just say that and we click on it and we're in the lab interface which now we can add uh, nodes whatever we want to add we'll add two switches and we'll connect them together and then we will turn them on. Let's turn them all on. All right. So, like I said before, a cool thing about it too, it comes with all the stuff ready to go. Plus, you have uh, Ubuntu and I think yeah, Tor and Alpine Linux if you want to do some other stuff like with automation, whatever. Also, if you have a computer on your network, you can just drag the cloud over. And with this, you can bridge the connection to your real network so you can access all the devices from a different computer or whatever you want to do. It's just like having the devices physically in your in your home or setting, and it's great. So I, I use this uh, to practice some automation things. Um, I have a Linux machine uh, as a VM and on my server, which is not this computer. So what I can do is I can set up this with the cloud and then put an IP address on these and then just log into them. Very easy. 
Um, so this is started, so we'll go, if you click on the device you can see, you can give it a name and you can change the image if you want, how much resources it's you want to assign to it. When The default works for me. As you can see, if you go to connectivity it shows you what it's connected to. And then if you want to edit config, you can do it this way. Or you can import a configuration. Or you can, it has a little console here that you can use. So hit enter and there you go, we're in the console. So this works, you know, just like a switch. You can do whatever you want to do. If you don't want to do that, you can, you know, do the set up an IP address and then SSH into it, whatever. But overall, I have found CML2 to be a great resource in lear learning everything about Cisco switches. Uh, it's it's very similar to what I had with Genos 3, but it's just so much simpler and it's easier to manage and it's supported plus you have all the images ready to go but that's an overview if you have any questions about cml2 or need help with anything leave a comment below and see you next time